Hi folks, this is Linear Algebra Take Home 3. We're asked to prove that the set of all functions in C11, so all continuous functions on the closed interval negative 1, 1, uh, whose derivative at 0 exists and is 0, with the usual function addition and scalar multiplication as a vector space. So once again, since I'm already talking about functions in C negative 1, 1, with the usual addition and scalar multiplication, I can take advantage of the subspace criteria we've developed in class and show that this is a subspace, uh, subspace of this, uh, which in turn then means it's a vector space. Okay, so what are the subspace criteria? What do I need to show? I need to show that the zero vector is in the set I'm talking about. I need to show that if I have two vectors in the set, then uh, their linear combination is in the set for alpha and beta real numbers. So for this set, the zero vector is none other than the function f of x equals zero. f of x equals zero is differentiable. Its derivative is zero. And that's for all x. So in particular, at a half, it's zero. This tells us that the zero vector is in v. So that satisfies condition one. Condition two. Suppose u and w are in v, and alpha and beta are real numbers. I have to show that alpha u plus beta w is also in v. What does it mean for u and v to be in w? So if u is in v, then that means that u is some function f, where uh, f prime of one half is zero. And w being in v means that w is some function g, so that g prime at one half is zero. So what I need to do is look at the function uh, alpha w alpha u plus w. That would be the function alpha f plus beta g. Well, from Calc 1, we know that if f and g are differentiable at 1 half, then alpha f plus beta g will be differentiable at 1 half. And from properties of derivatives, so we can just say this, from properties of derivatives, alpha f plus beta g prime at one half is alpha f prime at a half plus beta g prime at a half. So that's alpha times zero plus beta times zero, which is zero. That means that alpha uh, u plus beta w is in fact in v because when I take its derivative at a half, um, it's zero. Hence, V is a subspace of C negative one, one, and is thus a vector space in its own right. That'll do it for number one. All right, for number two, uh, we're asked to prove another set of vector space. But what I'm doing is I'm fixing some n by n matrix A. I don't know what it is, but it's fixed. It's some specific n by n matrix. I'm looking at the set of all n by 1 matrices so that when I pre-multiply them by A, I get the zero matrix. And the addition is the usual addition, and the multiplication is the usual scalar multiplication. So once again, I'm going to use the fact that V 
is defined to be a subset of these guys, right? I know that those are that that's a vector space under those operations. So I'm just going to go back and use the subspace criteria. Okay? So the subspace criteria number 1 I need to show that the zero vector is in there. And number 2 if I have two vectors that are in there, is there a linear combination in there? Okay. So, number one, the zero vector in this vector space is the n by one zero matrix. So to check to see if it's in here, I need to pre-multiply it by the matrix A and show that I get the zero matrix. Well, if I do that, from what we talked about on the first day of class, or second day of class, any matrix times the n by 1 zero matrix, uh, any n by n matrix by times the zero n by 1 matrix, it's going to give you the zero matrix. All right, so that shows that zero is in there. Second condition. I'm going to suppose I have two guys in there and I have to show that the linear combination is also in there. Okay, so what does it mean for you to be in there? That means that U is some n by 1 matrix so that A times U is the zero n by one matrix. And the same thing goes for W. So if I want to show that alpha U plus beta W is in V, I need to show that if I take A and multiply it by alpha U plus beta W, I get the zero matrix. So let alpha and beta be real numbers. And then if I take A times alpha U plus beta W using properties of matrix multiplication, I can distribute that. And using properties of matrix multiplication, I can excuse me, the uh, scalar multiplication, I can bring those scalars out. Like so. A times U, that's the zero matrix. Same thing with AW. Alpha times the zero matrix is the zero matrix. Beta times the zero matrix is the zero matrix. So I add them together, I get the zero matrix. Hence, alpha u plus beta w is in V. Hence, V is a subspace of the n by 1 matrices. So it is a vector space. Okay, um, this is going to play an important role for us here later on in linear algebra. Um, this is the solution basically to a homogeneous system of equations. This is the uh, null space of this matrix. So we'll talk about it in a little bit. That'll do it for take home three.